Hey guys, this is the Megalodon Man. I'm just coming to you today. One of the most common questions that I get asked is what is the difference between Megalodon and Great White? Well, there's actually three different species that tend to kind of resemble each other. One of them I say is like Megalodon, which tends to be over here, Great White in the middle. And then there's a third species, which is your extinct Mako. There's another species over here, but that's a transitional species, and I'll save that for another video. So how do you determine the difference difference between a megalodon and a great white tooth? Well, actually, it's pretty easy once you know what to look for. My key is to say it's a 4-3-2 method. And you're going, what does 4-3-2 mean? Well, when we're looking at characteristics, what we do is we look for different things. Like you have your root of the tooth, which is up here. You have an area called your burlet, which is kind of right across here. You have your blade of the tooth. And then if you look on megalodons, they have serrations that run all the way down the tooth. So that's four characteristics. Root, burlet, blade, serrations, four. When we come to great white, it's my three method. You have your root, you have blade, and you have serrations, okay? but no burlet, so it's missing one. So it has three characteristics. When we come to extinct Mako, it has two. It has a root and it has a blade, but it lacks both a burlet and serration. So it only has two characteristics. So that's the way that you can tell the difference between Megalodon, Great White, and even extinct Mako. And then later on, we'll talk a little bit maybe about the Angus Dines, Auriculatus, and Chubahentus. Okay? Have a great day. Enjoy the video.